Welcome back. Well, horses were once used all across Minnesota to travel, work, and for play, and now they mainly stay central to farms. Well, Farm America's newest exhibit hopes to shed light on just how much work a horse would put in on a daily basis. Our 1850s settlement site is really a unique space that not only shows a log cabin from the 1800s, but it also has that dugout. So sometimes folks would have built a house in the side of a hill and before they were able to make a log cabin because this area was filled with just prairie grasses originally and not a ton of trees to be making log cabins. So we have the log cabin site, we have the sod roof house site that was also a temporary home for them and that little dugout space that they first would have lived in when they arrived. They also built a barn to keep their livestock safe and a smokehouse. So we have all of those fun little houses right here at Farm America at the 1850 settlement site and it's neat to explore that space but we wanted to add something else that was hands-on for folks to do. So we added this horsepower exhibit and the reason behind it is to help people understand what horsepower means. It's a term that we still use today but we don't we don't know how to relate that in our real lives. So a tractor today can have up to 400 or more horsepower. Does that mean it's 400 horses like in a row in order to make this equipment go? Kind of. It, what it means is the amount of energy exerted by one horse for the entire day. So it's not just how much can a horse pull for 30 seconds, it's like how much can a horse handle all day long working in the field. So that's really where the term horsepower came from, from a gentleman who wanted to be able to compare his horses to a new steam engine that he had. So it's going to show you if you're super strong, how many horsepower a Boeing engine airplane has, but most likely most humans can exert about 0.1 horsepower for average over the day. So you just pull this out, give it a try, it's going to tell you on the lever how strong are you? How much horsepower can you muster? So, are there rules to this? Like, can I, like, put my feet Oh, I put here? my back into it, but I couldn't do that all day. But, you know, you just got to go, Oor! and then can you hold that? Can you sustain that oh. all day long? <laughs> Easy peasy! So I just sit here? Yeah, but you just got to gotta do that all day long. That would be compared to 0 0.1 horsepower. 0.1 so. horsepower. <laughs> Right? Now a garage door has 0.5 horsepower, so you're still not as strong as a garage door opener. As long as you can do it all day long, you're almost hired as a horse here. But the best part about it is you learn a little bit, you have a little fun, everybody laughs, and then you take a photo op on, yeah. our, on our little uh, plow over there. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was a, a photo op, but it actually turned out to be a video. <laughs> and that's what was so funny. Well, always plenty to do in Sea at Farm America, and they are hosting a pumpkin party this weekend. It's on Saturday from 10 to 3, so a great opportunity to check out those new additions. Yeah, and still ahead, it is the perfect part of the season to fall in love with a new book. Blue Earth County Library is in studio to share some must-reads for fall.